what up what up guys what's up what's up all right so look um i wanted to talk about <laughs> my horrible experience um with a piece of equipment um that i made a video on before but i don't know if i actually posted it but i'm gonna post it now we're gonna we're gonna do this video now all right so for my business when i first started off uh doing doing um shirts um I originally bought a piece of equipment, a heat press from Amazon, uh, based on the recommendation of my man, uh, Stan from T-shirt, T-shirt side hustle, right? So um, I went on Amazon and I bought the Amazon Tussie. He was doing a lot, he's been doing a, well, he does a lot of reviews on different pieces of equipment. But at the time, that looked like it was the best thing for me. So I bought an Amazon 15 by 15 uh, Tussie heat press and that's how I started my business and it uh it actually it actually helped uh it actually helped a lot and um that heat press is still working pretty good uh matter of fact I had to bring it out which is the nature of this video and why I'm making this video is because <clears throat> um the, the the heat press that I chose after after a while um, from stalls uh, hasn't worked out the way I, I, I planned. Um, so after a while, I said, you know what? I, I, I was making more money, and I said, you know what? It's time to upgrade to a better heat press that can um, that can help me do slightly bigger designs. Uh, that are traditional 12 by 16 designs, uh, big prints uh, is what I would call it. Uh, I think I think the, the, the most normal t-shirt design is usually uh, 12 by 12 uh, and, your, and your, your image doesn't necessarily have to be 12 by 12, but that's that's the box that, that's, that's norm, the normal box. To me, if you want to have a full length t-shirt um, or full length, um, image it's going to be 12 across by 16 down uh, and that'll give you a nice big print um, that most people like um, so what I ended up doing was I ended up going with stalls and stalls uh, Hotronics makes quite a few different uh, models I went up the tier um, and avoided the clamshell models um, and and went ahead and got the fusion IQ uh, now they have two fusion I, uh, IQs, one that's air assisted and the one that's not. I chose the one that's not. You can swivel, it can swivel um, if you like that motion or if you have the room for that motion or you can use the, the it's not a clamshell, technically it's a clamshell, um, but you can use the, the feature where you use the clamshell or whatever. Um, I thought for me, it was the, it was the best option um, because I didn't want to necessarily go with a traditional clamshell again. Um, but I wanted a slide out drawer. So to me, that's why you choose the Fusion IQ. Now the Fusion IQ is very expensive. It's like $2,500 before tax. Um, I, I bought that, didn't even think twice about it. Uh, it was working pretty good. I hadn't even, I didn't even have it for a year. I hadn't even had it for a year. Now back in April, this damn thing started malfunctioning pretty hard um it was it was really upsetting because i hadn't had it a year i hadn't even it hadn't even been a year yet and it would no longer uh it, it would kept tripping the breaker uh in my garage and it kept tripping kept tripping and then eventually it would ju it just didn't come back on again uh now my issue is that stalls does not have a, a mechanism in place where they can, where you can return your heat press um, to them uh, easily. They don't. They don't. They don't send when they send you the heat press. Like the Fusion IQ is so big and heavy, it comes in a box and it comes strapped to a pallet. So thinking of returning this thing is not something that you can just go drop a box off. It came on a pallet because it's heavy as hell. So they couldn't necessarily return the item. I couldn't return the item to them 
um, just to return it. Uh, the options that they gave me in April were we can, okay, technically they said they, they can't return it and give me, I can't return it and they give me a new one. But uh, they can arrange for a shipment so I can send it back to them, uh, which is gonna be, it's gonna take a while and they were gonna repair it and send it back. Or the option is, is that they can send me all the parts uh, and I can use their guidance and, and fix it myself. I wasn't very happy with, uh, with, with either options because sending it back to them was going to take weeks. It was gonna take weeks. And I, I you know, when you have orders piling up daily, you don't have weeks to figure out what the hell you're gonna do with the heat press. So I was very upset because stalls did not even though they have great customer service and their open, like customer service is open 24 hours a day, uh, Monday through Sunday, they don't really give the buyer or the consumer the type of um, the type of solutions that you would want. Um, you know, when you spend twenty five hundred dollars on something and the shit doesn't work, you want solutions very quickly. And um, you know. That's been what I've had to deal with. So long story short, they sent me a first round of parts to replace all of the electrical uh, components, the wires, um, the touch screen, everything that, that's electrical. I, I had to go one by one, take all that shit out, replace it with the new stuff, right? They confirmed everything was hooked up correctly. Everything was hooked up correctly. Turned it back on. Um, it still wouldn't turn on. I had to go back through again just to make sure everything was was correct. Everything was 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 correctly working. And when I did that, um, it finally did come. It it, it, would, it did come back on. So at some point, I must have crossed one of the wires, and we both missed what was going on. But got it to turn on issue was is that every time I would open and close the press every time I would try to close the press it would the power would go out and so uh, that's why they thought it was something with one of the wires being crimped or something like that or melted um, but what ended up being the issue was the heater no longer worked the electrical for the actual heater part which we didn't replace uh, was malfunctioning so the heater would just it would just not even heat um, and then eventually it wouldn't come back on. So they sent me a new plate, a new a new heater plate, new wires for that, and I, I hooked it up, and boom, it worked. We're back in business. Well, this week um, or this weekend, once again, the heater stopped working. It, it would it, it would I would turn it on, right? I would turn the shit on. And as soon as I set it to 300 degrees or more, as it approached the 300 degrees, um, the machine would shut off. The machine would just shut off. And I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. So obviously I called them, did the whole thing over again. Uh, one second, one second. Hello, good morning. Can I get the, um, the uh, what is it, the number four, the chicken bowl? Mm -hmm. uh, is it uh, a meal? Can I get the, or does it come with the hash browns and all? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get that. And would you like a drink as well? Uh, do you have orange juice? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, sir. And that'll be it. May I have your name? Joey. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got a chicken bowl, a meal, hash browns, and an orange juice. This is seven eighty-five. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is somewhat cool. Well, it's still warm. <laughs> in between. Here you go. Another fan's helping it a bit. Y'all need the mist machine. Yes, I agree. Oh <laughs> they I need the mist. Yeah, they need the mist machine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Y'all have a good one, okay? You too. Bye bye. So, yeah, I had to call them, right? I had to call them. Uh, emailed them multiple times because I wanted to make sure that. And I've dealt with them before, so I have like four people on on 
on email. <laughs> so they know who I am when I email them. So I emailed them, let them know what's going on. It's pretty upset, blah, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> Uh, they, they, the guy Reed, he got back to me. Reed is a really cool guy. He is the head of their um, replacement slash um, troubleshooting um, department. He's in charge of getting all the repairs and things like that out. Um, and he's in charge of actually um, assembling all new units. So um, he, he, he messaged me back and said, hey, look, um, what we can't, you can't just send it back in because the, the the warranty is out. And I was like, that's bullshit because it's not even a year yet. Um, plus, I bought from an affiliate, Pro World, and they offer an extra one year warranty on. Um, hi. Yes. You Thank you so much. My you Appreciate it. Day. You too. Um, they offer an extra year warranty on their hardware, so I have two year warranty on this on this machine. And I had to explain it to him. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry, but we can't just, you can't just return it and we and, and we give you a new one because right now our new units, our new Fusion IQ units, um, they are, uh, they are about seven to eight weeks out because of the assembly time and parts and all that good stuff. So I would have, if I want a brand new unit, I would have to wait seven to eight weeks from uh from this week and that doesn't work for me and i don't think it works for anybody really because when you're running a business and you have orders piling up this is your bread and butter if it's it, you can't wait seven or eight weeks i can't shut my store down and say I, look i can't do t-shirts for seven or eight weeks because this shit is down right part of that problem is on me because i don't have a proper backup right I don't have a proper backup. I still got my Tussie, which still puts out the work, but for a lot of my designs, it's, it's a little more tricky because when I'm doing 12 by 16 designs, trying to make that work on a 15 by 15 is not the easiest thing in the world, especially when you're using super color transfers where you have to do hot peels. So it's tricky, you know, it's really, really tricky. And, um, so part of it is that is, is my fault. So the only other option he said was that they had a he had a nearly brand new unit um, that is um, that is is newer than my unit. Uh, he has that one, and they can send that one out by Wednesday. So uh, I'm gonna email them when I get home and tell them, hey, send that shit now. I told him to send it. Um, so that that's 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 what we're gonna do now because i told him i said i'm not opening this machine again and replacing anything else again um the issue that i'm having this time is that uh it has two fuses uh on this on this machine one of the fuse fuses now just pops when it when it reaches 300 degrees it'll pop and it'll turn the machine off i thought that it was supposed to work where you had two fuses if one goes out you're still in business but apparently that's not the case so i just told him i'm not i'm not touching the machine anymore I, i've i've cut my hands up the first time around going around trying to undo everything and i had to take that motherfucker apart uh, literally about five times and it was not very pleasant at all my big ass hands get cut up because it's a small space it was just a nightmare and i'm not doing it again in the texas heat in my garage when it's fucking 100 degrees outside, sweating my ass off, trying to mess with these little bolts. Like, it, it, it was a nightmare. So, that's where we're at right now. In the meantime, I went ahead and I headed back to Heat Press Nation um, to see if they had anything in stock. The only thing I was able to get my hands on was um, was a Black Series, um, was a Black Series 16 by 20 um, auto open. And um, I, I went ahead and purchased it right away. It was around 800 something dollars with all the taxes. I purchased it right away. Didn't think twice about it because in my head, they're gonna fix this fucking press from stalls. They're gonna fix that shit. But in the meantime, I need a proper, proper replacement. Um, and, the, and the Tussie is not a proper replacement for me um, at this time, uh, at, this, at this point. 
Um, but it is a backup. So I bought that. Hopefully that press, the, the, uh, the Black Series press from Heat Press Nation should be here uh, Friday uh, by the end of the day, which I'm grateful for. Should be here by Friday. Um, and let's see. Hopefully I'll, I'll receive the stalls um, because they don't even want this one back, which is which is really upsetting me. Um, so what I think I'll end up doing is, is I'll take the fuse off of this broken heat press. I would try to find a replacement or um, on my own, or I will uh, inquire and have them send me another one and see if that is the issue, replace that fuse. Um, and since they don't want it back, you know, I'll try to my best to, to fix it on my own. But in the meantime, I need a working press. And so um, until they send me the new one, this one's going to collect dust because it doesn't work. Um, but I, and I've tried different things. I've tried to set it at like 250, 270, and it doesn't matter. It just the fuse will pop and um, it's frustrating. So um, I, I would highly suggest um, <clears throat> that if you're looking to spend or uh, for an industrial product, even though stalls is like top rated, I, I, it could just be that model. Um, you know, it could be a lot of things, um, but I, I feel, I feel, I personally feel like when you've replaced every single component in a machine. And, and, it, and it begins to work again, and then all of a sudden it, it fails again. Um, I feel like there's a design flaw with that product. There's a design flaw with that product. Um, if you spend $2,500, you should your, your, your machine should work for years to come. It shouldn't work or it shouldn't fail at, 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 uh, at less than a year. It shouldn't fail at less than a year. And if I didn't have warranty, when they, when they were, when I replaced everything, I replaced all those parts, they would have charged me over 700 and something dollars. And that's to replace it yourself. Um, but all the parts, um, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, what's, what's even crazier to me is that, um, the total price of the product in the first place, but I get it. I understand. Um, I just don't agree with it and I don't like it. But I would suggest more money doesn't always mean better. Um, I, I realize that now. Um, more money almost, <laughs> almost equals more problems, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I, I would suggest finding something that, that works for you. Uh, what I am going to try to do uh, here is probably grab a, a, a Jotco. Um, dual press uh, and, and, and go that route because I just kind of feel like, and I've, I've heard, I've had other people that use like Hicks and stuff like that. It happened the same way with them. And um, I think there's something, like I said, something innately wrong with the, uh, there's a design flaw or something that, that is, um, that, that's causing these issues. But, you know, I, I didn't want to drag them too much, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not going to recommend uh, Stahl's, uh, Stahl's products. I'm not going to recommend it. And based on, based on my experience, I'm not, I, I cannot recommend any of their products, even though I only have one of their products. It's one of their top tier products. And if that shit doesn't work, I don't have really any faith in the rest of them. So uh, stalls is a no-go for me. Uh, hopefully if you have a stalls, hopefully it's working correctly. But, uh, also literally there's almost, there was almost literally no information or troubleshooting or any, any information from people, um, on this particular Fusion IQ. It was very, very frustrating because you literally have to go to the source to find, you know, to get a solution very upsetting um so you know it, it's one of those things where you need to really think about where you want to put your money and if you got twenty five hundred dollars laying around i would highly suggest you go find two 
good units that you can get for that same price. So you'll have a proper one and a proper backup. Um, that's important. So in my opinion right now, uh, you know, I might be going with, like I said, I'm trying to go with a Jocko or something like a, a dual press. Um, and, 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 and definitely get something obviously that has warranty. Please get something that has a warranty if you're spending over a thousand dollars or close to a thousand dollars or more on these presses. Get a warranty. Buy an extra warranty if you can, but get a warranty um, because you're gonna you, you you may need it. You know what I'm saying? You know you may need it. Um, the assembly of these of these things are, are done pretty well, but again, they malfunction from time to time. I don't understand why just is what it is i guess but uh i'm not going to recommend stalls to anybody i would say go with something else heat press nation something else because um it'll, you'll save yourself a lot of headaches now when this thing works when the fusion iq works uh, it works it works like a dream it's it's easy it's intuitive it's high tech you know you can set your you know, your pressure you can see the pressure you can adjust it on the fly I mean, it, it works phenomenal when it works, but when it's not working, it's a absolute nightmare because there's so many electrical components um, that just cause issues. So yeah, that's heat press talk. Anyways, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.